Zoom's basic features on a Windows PC, basically how to download it, how to log in, and how to get started on your first Zoom meeting. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we're going to go to the website and sign up for their service. So we're going to go to zoom.com. That's going to take us here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to just go ahead and hit this sign in. Some of you may have a, a, a username and a password already, which will be your email and then whatever password you created. Or you can use your, your Google sign in, which is your Gmail, or if you have Facebook accounts, your Facebook. That saves you from having to create a new password for Zoom, so some people like to do that. But for us, we're just going to go and hit sign up free here. You can do it here or up here, whichever is easiest. So we're going to go ahead and sign up free. I'm going to go ahead and put, the, um, I'll, I'll do this, julian at mobiletechtutor.com. That's my email. I'm going to go ahead and hit sign up. It's going to send it a confirmation link to my email. And so I'm going to go into my email here. Um, you're going to get an email just like this. And you're going to hit activate account. Are you signing up a Hypes? No. And it's going to ask me to create, put my name. So I'll go ahead and put that in here. Julian. Yes. And I'll create a password. Then I'll go ahead and hit continue. And then I'm going to just go ahead and skip this invite. That's just asking me to invite other people. Um, go to my account. Here's what we want to kind of go through first. Um, if you look up here at the very top, you're going to have a couple tabs here that we're going to review. People. So if we just go ahead and click and schedule a meeting, um, you see here you have your topic. You can add in your description. This is when you can change the time of your meeting. So as you click into it and use that calendar, a little calendar will pop up, hit these drop downs to change the time. Um, you can change the duration. With a basic free account, you can only have 40 minute meetings. All right, so if you're gonna want a longer meeting, you're gonna have to upgrade and you can click this button and it will tell you how much it'll cost for you to have you know, longer meetings. So this one's gonna be $14.99 monthly or if you buy it by the year, it's $12.49. So you have that there. This is the time zone that you're going to be in. Here's the meeting ID. This is the ID that's going to be sent out to your um, friends and family that you want to have a meeting with. Um, and so you can have it gener generate a, a random one for you, or you can have them send this personal meeting ID. So it's kind of always the same, up to you. You can also require them to use a password to get in, but you can also check that off if you don't want them to have a password. Um, for, the, for the meeting itself, if you want the video to be on for the host, you can click on, which I always suggest because you're the host and people would want to see you. And if you want the participants to have video, you hit on. And they'll have the option to turn their cameras off too, so there's no way forcing them to do that. But it does allow, I think it defaults it so that they would have their camera on. Um, audio too, just click both there. That just makes it so that they're, um, they have the option to use their computer audio, or if that's not working, they can use their cell phone to call in. These options down here, these are going to um, enable join before host. That lets people go into the meeting before you get there. They stay in this waiting room, so to speak, uh, until you allow them entry. Uh, mute participants upon entry, that does exactly what it says. It makes it so their sound doesn't come through. Sometimes it can get really loud if everybody's speakers are on or microphones are all on at the same time. And so that mutes it. Um, enable waiting room. This lets people have a waiting room to go into if you want them to wait for you before you go in. So if you have this, then you want to enable that as well. Um, and then this is record the meeting automatically and save it to your computer. So like if you want to record the meeting for later, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit just hit save here, save the meeting. And this is what will happen. You'll have your meeting set up. Here's the meeting ID that people will use to get in. We opted to have a password, so this is the password. And when you send the invite, it'll have that information available. The way you invite people, 
we're going to go ahead and hit copy invitation. This is the meeting invitation with all the information that they're going to need. It'll have a, 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 a link that gets sent to them that they can click on. Here's the meeting ID and here's the password. If we scroll down, it says copy meeting invitation. We can hit that. It's going to copy it and we can go into our email, compose an email, right click on your mouse after you've copied and then hit paste. That was a right click and a paste and I was able to put in the information there and I can go ahead and send this to my email, Zoom meeting and boom. I've just sent a, an invitation for a Zoom meeting and that's gonna look, gonna look like this. This Now this is the meeting and how it, how it looks when you send it. So when it comes through, it's gonna look like this. And what they can do is they can go ahead and click on this link. It's gonna redirect them to Zoom where they'll need to download the Zoom client. And so this is gonna go into the next step. So we've set up a meeting and now we need to join the meeting, right? Well, you don't have the Zoom client yet if you've never used it before. And it'll take your, your friends and your family to this website. And well, you see this download and run Zoom, that's the client. So we're gonna click on that and you'll usually see it pop up like this, um, letting you know that it's downloading an application. You're gonna hit save. And in the bottom left hand corner, you're going to see this exe executable file. That's a file that's going to be run. So you'll just click on that. And this is the client being downloaded to your computer so that you can go ahead and open up the meeting. Once that's done loading, I'll stop that video and you can go ahead and join in with computer audio. I'll mute it so it doesn't feedback, but this is the meeting that we're in now. And now we're waiting for the other participants to come in. So say you get a meeting, right? Say someone sends you a meeting and you want to join it. We're going to go ahead and go into your account. Now we're going to say join a meeting. It's asking for your meeting ID. All right. So where does that come from? Well, remember that comes from, that's going to come from this email that was sent to you. And so we can go ahead and just take this meeting ID, right click, copy, paste, join. It's going to ask you to open up that client that we've already downloaded, so we don't need to do it again. We're going to hit open Zoom meeting, and it's going to take us right into it. And that's it. Back into our account, and let's say host a meeting. So hosting a meeting is, is basically starting straight into a meeting and then inviting people once you're in it. So I'm going to go ahead and host a meeting with video off. Same thing's gonna happen, it's gonna run the client, we're gonna open the Zoom meeting, we're gonna join with computer, computer audio, start video, and there it is, we're in the meeting right now, okay? See where it says invite others? We can go ahead and hit invite others, we can send a Gmail to them, if we, you have Gmail or Yahoo, you can use those, or again, we can copy the invitation and then send it through an email, whatever email client that we're using, and it will generate the same email that we saw earlier, allowing people to jump into the meeting that you currently started. So this is an unscheduled meeting. Those are the three features that I, I wanted to go over with you guys, They're the main features for interacting with Zoom. And I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Feel free to forward it to your friends and family if you think they could use it. And thanks. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. Here's a little cheat sheet to help remind you of some of the items that we covered during this tutorial. I hope you liked it and feel free to share it with your friends and family. Thanks again.